My name is Judith Becker. I'm professor of uh, early modern and modern history of Christianity at the Humboldt University in Berlin, in Germany. And um, so early modern, I'm, I'm doing both actually, early modern and modern history of Christianity. So I've started my career with a PhD on Reformation history, on Dutch and French speaking strangers churches, refugee churches in London and in Germany. And I've then moved on to a habilitation thesis on Basel missionaries, German-speaking, German and Swiss missionaries in South India in the 19th century. And um, now I'm moving on in time with a project here on the early ecumenical movement at the turn of the 20th century. So you see the progress in time. I've always been interested in um, international history, history of intercultural contacts. You see that from the beginning, from the PhD. And I, I've always been interested in the um, interaction between theological topics, theological systems, um, beliefs, and um, life. How actually did people act in their lives? How did their religiosity, their, the their theology um, inform their, their um, lifestyle, their value systems? Um, so a pure history of ideas or pure history of theology can be very interesting. But for me, it's this uh, interaction between theology, belief, and um, and life and that in an intercultural context. So that's what I'm, I've been doing in all my projects so far and what I'm also doing here. And so you see why the um, UR de Nantes is a very interesting place for me um, with its very, very international community of fellows here. And that's one of the reasons to um, submit an application here. And I'm very, very happy that I've been offered this year here in Nantes. Well, I'm now working on the uh, young ecumenical movement uh, that is the beginnings of the ecumenical movement and that was uh, mainly youth organizations. So it's young in, in both senses of the word um, at the end of the 19th and uh, beginning of the 20th century. And so this was a Christian international movement um, very consciously internationalist um, at the time of high nationalism, of imperialism, of colonialism. Um, and these um, young Christians or people who worked with and for young Christians um, wanted to be international, wanted to create a, a community, um, were convinced of the equality of all people, um, no matter where they lived, no matter where they came from. And that's questions, of course, that still concern us today and um, even in this year concern us in a new way again. Um, and so what I'm working on at that time, as I said, it's colonialism, it's uh, World War I. Um, people from um, the, the, the members of these organizations formed friendships very consciously in order to, to be together to have this fellowship, this community, and then the war begins, and what do they do? Um, and also, how do they negotiate between their um, patriotism, nationalist convictions, and their internationalist convictions? And that's still an important question. How do they deal with racism, racism um, which was also a conscious topic then and a topic that was discussed in their in their periodicals, for instance. Meeting uh, the other fellows here and living with them. And I think it's not only about meeting, but it's really this concept that's um, followed here in Nantes uh, of um, not only having lunches or dinners together, but really living together um, has been very important um, because over this length of time being together with so many people from so many different countries, backgrounds, disciplinary backgrounds, um, brings in very many 
new ideas and uh, perspectives that um, one couldn't have uh, without this. It's, it, it makes a difference if one reads about different perspectives, if one discusses once or twice with this person or that person, or if one really lives together for such a long time. And so that's, um, that's been very, very interesting and important um, for me and, and for my research. When I was a student, I studied for an Erasmus uh, year in Paris. So uh, coming back to France was, a, was very important to me and was a great motivation to apply um, at an uh, EUR in, in France. And then Nantes is the EUR uh, that has this particular um, perspective of international um, north-south community um, that can't be found in other, um, not to this extent, let's say, uh, at other U.S. So uh, that was the motivation to come here, but it was really also a motivation to, um, after so very many years, uh, to come back to, to France and uh, spend some months in France. And now also for um, the academic reason that, um, of course, when I'm working on an international community, you can't work on all um, countries equally. So I'm working on um, Germany, Britain, France in Europe, uh, and then India and Japan um, of the Asian countries that were very involved from the beginning in, in these movements. Um, but there also it's very interesting and important to be in France and be close to the sources, but also be close to, to, to the colleagues um, who work on similar topics from a French perspective.